Hello, my name is Nema Bilini. And I'm Babu Ali Ahmed. We are working with International Institute of Tropical Agriculture in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. We're going to show you some cool new technique on how to recognize cassava disease. Cassava happens to be the most important crop in Africa for consumption, sustainability and security. And this is how it looks. The edible parts leaves as vegetables and, and the roots. Unfortunately, there are several diseases affecting it. That makes farmers to harvest only a half of what they expected to get. And this is how it looks. Cassava mosaic disease. Also, we have cassava brown stick disease. Moreover, we have damage from cassava green mites. And lastly, the brown leaf spot. Well, the first thing is to know what diseases we have. We can either use our eyes, but that means we have to be well-trained and experienced because diseases can sometimes be very hard to recognize. We can send samples to the lab for testing, but this is very expensive and there are not many labs out there. This does not really help farmers or agricultural workers out there in the field. Of course, we can take pictures with our smartphones and send them to experts. Or even better, what if we could train those smartphones to diagnose the disease for us from the images that they capture. If we can see something, the phone can see too. With the rise in camera resolution and exponential growth in computing power of smartphone, the potential to identify things like faces, objects and patterns has grown massively. The power of an affordable smartphone is only in the pockets of millions of African farmers. This is sufficient to provide them an instant pest and disease diagnostic solution for their crops. IITA has been collaborating with Penn State University who themselves have been working with Google to bring this kind of technology in cassava farms here in Africa. Tens of thousands of images of cassava diseases taken here in coastal Tanzania have been used to train neural networks to recognize the major diseases of cassava. These data have been used by Penn State and Google teams to come up with a TensorFlow mobile phone app that can be used live in the field to provide disease diagnosis. This is a very early draft for trial purposes, so we're gonna go and check it out and see how it does here in the field. Here we have a healthy looking plant. As you can see, the leaves are green and not any kind of shape deformation, as you can see it. And on the other hand, we have unhealthy plant. Let us see what the app can tell us. 99% CMV, wow, that's great. How about this one? Cassava brown stick disease. Wow, 75%. Oh, it can also recognize green mite damage. 91%. How about these brown leaf spots? Brown leaf spot, 88%. As we have seen, the app is already functioning in the field, but this is still a working in progress. The accuracy will be improved even more by training the algorithm with a lot more images. Further work with the app developers will result in a consumer app that will provide free and instant disease diagnosis to anyone with an Apple or Android smartphone. The work doesn't stop here. This approach can be extended to other important food crops in Africa and worldwide. Finally, this new diagnostic information will be used to improve crop disease management strategies and to provide security to millions of farmers in Africa.